You can see the next Giddy Game Show at 4 o'clock next Monday in Children's ITV. Right now, it's time for All Sorts, which is all about water. Boing. 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 Everywhere. Everywhere? No, right. Not everywhere. Water in the bath. Mat oh. on the floor so it won't go everywhere. Ready, Jiffy? Ready. Ready with the water. Warm, wet water. Ready for the bath. Oh. Oh. Hey. Ready, Natty? Ready. Ready with the soap bar. Oh, slippery soap bar. Ready for the bath. Bonzo? Ready. Ready with the towel. Soft, woolly towel. Ready for the bath. Spike? Are you ready, Spike? Hmm. <clears throat> I don't think Spike understands whose bath water this is. Do you know? Well, it's not for Jiffy. Or me, or Bonzo. It's for Spike. Don't worry, Spike. It's only water. It won't hurt you. And it's already lovely warm water. Look, I'll show you. <laughs> what do you call that? It's a wash. That's a lick. That's nothing. It's not a proper wash. Now, watch me. Oh, uh, towel. Where's oh, the towel? towel? Here. Uh, there. there. That's a proper wash. Yes, it was. No. You didn't wash behind your ears. No. Hang Come on. on. <clears throat> Where's the sponge? There. Oh, no. That's it. Oh, no. And no, behind no. your neck. And neck. No. <laughs> Water, water everywhere, even where it can't be seen. Water, water everywhere, keeps a body clean. In your ears, round your neck, the soapy water goes. Up your back and down your legs, in between your toes. Water, water makes you wet, needs a towel where it's been. Water is a friend of ours. Water. Water keeps us clean. <sighs> I just can't understand why Spike doesn't like water. No, nor me. Nor me. Spike. Where's he Where gone? is that dog? Spike. 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 Hello. What's the fuss? Water. <laughs> Love it. Nice inside me when I'm dry. Ah, oh, lovely cool water on a hot summer's day. Ah. When I want a wash, I lick myself all over. <laughs> Dogs do that. And you know what I like? I like jumping in rivers, yeah. And jumping in ponds, yeah. And jumping out again, yeah and shaking all the water off, brrr, all over, brrr, all over everyone, brrr, all over Natty and Jiffy and Bonzo. We can't find Spike. But we found something else to do with water. Water music. Bottle water music. We've got some bottles here and they're all of different shapes. And they've also got different amounts of water in them. See that? You can see the water level just up to there. And in this bottle, it's a little more. In this bottle, a little less. And, um, well, this bottle's full. And uh, there's less in this bottle, so I just finished filling that one up. Right. There we are. I think that's enough. That's done. But that's fine, but I, I can't hear any music. That's because we need something to hit the, the water bottles with. Oh. Um, I wonder if Jiffy will have something. Might have. Jiffy! Yes? Jiffy, have you got something we could hit these bottles, bottles. with? Oh, right, yes. Um, what have I got? Uh, with a duck, 
No. Um, trumpet? No. Uh, or uh, what's in here? Oh, some sticks. Oh, oh yeah. Here we are then, Bonzo. Thank Natty. Thank you. And one for me. Right. To music, but how about a tune? Hmm. Do you know that tune? It's a tune about fishes. Fishes live in water. Down in the meadow in a little bitty pool swam three little fishes and the mama fishy too. Swim, said the mama fishy, swim if you can. So they swam and they swam right over the dam. The mama fishy, you'll get lost. The three little fishies didn't want to be boss. The three little fishies went off on a spree and they swam and they swam right out. Boop, boop, did them down in water, too. Boop, boop, did them down in water, too. Boop, boop, did them down in water, too. And they swam and they swam right out. We'll swim in the sea till the day is done. They swam and they swam, and it was a lark. Till all of a sudden, they met a shark. Boop, boop, did them down and water and chew. Boop, boop, did them down and water and chew. Boop, boop, did them down and water and chew. Till all of a sudden, they met a shark. Hello, Hello cried the little fishies. Look at all the whales. And quick as they could, they turned on their tails and back to the pool. They swam and they swam and they swam back over the dam. I wish I could swim. Wish I could swim like a fish. It's easy. Easy peasy. Can't you swim, Bonzo? I never learnt. Time you did. Yeah, we'll teach you. Uh, I'll show you the crawl. Yeah. Now, you move your legs up and down like this. Right. And your arms like this. <sighs> hey, it's easy. Of course it is. <laughs> I do the breaststroke. You do your arms like this mm -hmm. and your legs like this. <sighs> See? Great. It's easy. I'm swimming like a fish. Well, fish don't <laughs> swim like that. No, no, fish sort of uh, wriggle. Look, I'll do a shark. <laughs> but I'm swimming now. Nearly. Properly. Not properly yet. Why not? Because you have to do it in the water. This is a story about an octopus who lived in the water at the bottom of the sea. Ollie Octopus was lazy. In fact, he was one of the laziest creatures you could ever wish to meet. 
He lay like a big stone snoozing at the bottom of the sea all day, his eight long arms tucked underneath his body. Everyone else who lived under the sea was busy swimming around looking for food, but not Ollie. No, Ollie did nothing, and yet he never went hungry. Whenever he felt like a little snack, he'd open one beady eye and look around, and then, just as a poor little fish was swimming by, out would shoot one of his eight long arms to wrap around the fish and pull her down to the bottom of the sea. Get me food, quick, you silly little fish, or I'll never let you go, said Ollie. Y y y y y yes, sir, bubbled the poor little fish. R r right away, sir, anything you say, sir. And then the little fish would swim off and fetch the tastiest bit of food that she had to give to Ollie. Ollie did this all day long. Every few minutes, one of his long arms would shoot out to catch another fish, and then Ollie would send her off to fetch him his favourite bit of food. Ollie thought he was so smart. He chuckled to himself as he snoozed on the sea bed after eating a huge meal of the most delicious things the fish could find. But the fish were fed up with Ollie bullying them. Why couldn't he go and find his own food like everybody else? He was so lazy that they decided to do something about it and agreed on a plan. The next morning, they woke up early and set to work. Back and forth they swam, gathering long pieces of seaweed from the seabed. Back and forth, back and forth, until they had a huge pile. Then each fish took a piece of seaweed in her mouth and weaving it in and out, tied the pieces together into a long, strong rope. Onto the end of the rope, they tied the tastiest piece of food they could find. Right, I'll go and swim past Ollie's nose and get caught, said one little fish, swimming off. Ugh, Ollie had just woken up and was thinking about breakfast when the little fish swam past his face. He shot out an arm and grabbed her tight around the middle. Gotcha, he cried. Now, what have you got for my breakfast today? Something delicious, I hope. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, something very delicious, said the little fish. Right then, you better go and fetch it quick. And tell the others to bring me something too, said Ollie. The little fish swam off and picked up the piece of food on the end of the rope. Right, everybody, ready? Let's go, she shouted. All the fish swam behind her, holding the seaweed rope in their mouths. Ollie saw them coming. Oh, goody! Breakfast, he cried, and opened his mouth wide. The little fish popped the food into his mouth and then shouted, Now! Round and round, round and round, the fish swam, winding the rope tightly round Ollie. When they stopped, his eight arms were covered in rope. Ollie was trapped. And there you will stay, Ollie Octopus, said the little fish, until you learn not to be so lazy. And there they left him all day long, and he got very, very hungry. They didn't untie him until he said he was sorry for being such a bully and promised never to be lazy again. It's pouring down. It's pouring down with rain outside. Uh-huh. No, it's not. I was watering the plants. Oh, Bonzo. <laughs> Have you seen Spike? Mm. Spike's here. I bought him some toys so he'll enjoy his bath more. There's a rubber duck and a boat. There we are, Spike. Oh, tell you what. Where's that frog? There, doing the crawl. Wee in the water. <laughs> water, you can play with it. Water, you can swim in it. You can drink it when you're dry. Water, you can boat in it. Water, ducks can float in it. When it rains, the water comes from the sky. Water, you can wash in it. Water, you can splash in it. Water makes the flowers grow. Water, fishes live in it. This is water in a bit. In the water, spike will go. Oh, when we find him. Spike. Where is that dog? Spike? Thank you.
That's all for Children this lunchtime, and don't forget, Children's ITV begins at 4 o'clock. <laughs>